Hello, you are welcome. How to solve 2 raised to the power of k equals k raised to the power of 32. We are going to solve for the value of k that will satisfy this equation. Now, what we are going to do is we have 2 raised to the power of k and this equals k raised to the power of 32. So, we can decide to multiply this exponent by 1 over k and we do the same thing here by 1 over k so by doing that this k will eliminate this k so we are going to have 2 equals we have k raised to the power of 32 divided by k now the next thing we are going to do is we will try and eliminate this 32 so we are also going to multiply the exponent by 1 divided by 32 and we do the same thing here so by doing that if you observe 32 here we will cancel 32 here so we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 1 divided by 32 equals here we are going to have k raised to the power of 1 divided by k now for us to simply solve this, if you look at the right hand side, we have k here and we have 1 over k at the exponent. So we need to manipulate this left hand side in such a way that we have the same number at the base and also 1 over the same number at the exponent. So let's go ahead and carry out the uh, manipulation. Now we are going to start by, instead of writing 1, divided by 32, we can rewrite it as we have 2 raised to the power of 2 over 64. So if 2 cancel itself once, cancel 64, we are going to have 32. So we haven't really changed anything. Now this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. Now the next thing we are going to do is for us to make use of this identity. If you have a power n times n, this equals a power n all to the power of n. So by applying this identity here, that means we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 2 all to the power of 1 over 64. And this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. Now 2 raised to the power of 2 is 4. We have 4 then raised to the power of 1 over 64 and this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. So we proceed again. The next thing we are going to do is instead of 1 over 64, we can rewrite this as 2 over 1 to 8. So we have 4 raised to the power of 2 over 1 to 8. Remember, if you cancel 2 and cancel 1 to 8, you are going to have this again. And this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. Now, in the same way we make use of this identity, a power n times n equals a power n all to the power of n. Now, that means we are going to have 4 raised to the power of 2 or raised to the power of 1 over 1 to 8. And this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. So, what are we going to have? 4 raised to the power of 2 is simply we have 16 and this is raised to the power of 1 divided by 1 to 8 and this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. So since the base here and what we have here are not the same, we still proceed with our manipulation. So the next thing we are going to do is instead of 1 over 1 to 8, we can have it as 16 raised to the power of 2 over 2, 5, 6. So if 2 cancel itself once, cancel 2, 5, 6, we are going to have 1, 2, 8. So this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. So we consider this other identity again. a power n times m equals a power n all to the power of m. So by applying this identity right here, that means we are going to have 16 raised to the power of 2 all to the power of 1 over 256 and this equals 
k raised to the power of 1 over k. So at this point, 16 raised to the power of 2 simply means 16 times 16, and that is 256. So you have 256 raised to the power of 1 over 256, and this equals k raised to the power of 1 over k. So at this point, you notice that what we have here is exactly what we have here, and what we have here is exactly what we have here. So we can compare the exponent or we can compare the braces. So if you compare these two bases, you simply have k equals 2, 5, 6. So this becomes the value of our k. Now let's go ahead and check if this is actually very correct. So we simply recall the problem. Remember we had 2 raised to the power of k equals this is k and this equals we had k raised to the power of 32. So from what we have solved, our k is 256. That means 2 raised to the power of 256 equals we are going to have 256 raised to the power of 32. So if at the end with what we have in both sides are the same, that means the answer is correct. So 2 raised to the power of 256 is it equal to 256 raised to the power of 32? That's what we are going to find out. So 2 raised to the power of 256 equals 256 is simply, we can write it as 2 raised to the power of 8 because if you have 2 into 8 places, that is 256. So you have 2 raised to the power of 8 all to the power of 32. Now we consider this identity. If you multiply these two exponents, so we are going to multiply these two exponents. So we are going to have 2 raised to the power of 256. And this equals 2 raised to the power of 8 times 32. You have 256. So from what we have gotten so far, what we have here is the same as what we have here. This actually shows that the answer we got has satisfied the equation. So that is it for the video. I believe you enjoyed the class. Please don't forget to subscribe, share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye.